What's going on guys? Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2. We are facing off against Duke Jared. If you look at how we look versus how he looks, I, you know, I feel like that balance of power is pretty, pretty accurate. So we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna take these guys on. Uh, they do have some Knights of the Blazing Sun, which looks to be the scariest thing they really have. Uh, they have a mortar as well, but eh. Eh, I think we I think we can take him. I think we can take him. It's it's Cetra, our highest level guy, versus Mr. Jared, who's got one he's rank one. He never probably never fought a battle before in his life, so something tells me this should be pretty straightforward. Now let's see if it actually is though. We do have a Necrosphinx with us, a bunch of Ushapti, uh some Sepulchral dudes, or whatever they're called again. Sure, 17's alright. 17 out of 25, that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll make that work. Here we go, this is gonna be our infantry. So we're gonna group those dudes together. Archers, cavalry, and then let's say monsters. We have a lot of monsters, which is pretty sweet. So we'll just set up over here. A little bit of cavalry, and the big dudes. And we're just slowly gonna make our way over to their side. They do have that Mortar, which is like, eh. It's like the, the one thing that could be a bit of a threat. They're gonna go into the forest, are they? Look at these little humans. Look at these scummy little humans. Wait, are they not? They have their cavalry set up somewhere else, I, I believe. It's pretty smart. Okay, let's uh, follow their example and just walk into these woods. I don't know why they're doing this, but I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So the Battle Pilgrims seem pretty weak, and then they got the Flagellants, which I believe are really weak. They have n literally no armor. So I think they should get just torn to shreds if they get too close. I actually believe that marching into the woods might be a decent idea, uh, if only because that should, I think, obscure us from the Mortar, so it can't actually hit us anymore. Even though they haven't even been firing whatsoever. They got no armor, poor leadership, poor everything, really. The only thing they got going for them is they can attack from long range, but... We're in the woods now, so... Good luck finding me and stopping me. Jared, what are you doing, buddy? This honestly seems like a pr pretty poor strategy to, uh... Allow me to just sort of hide in the woods. I wish we had Caskets of Souls, that would have sped this up pretty immensely. Let's do this a little bit quicker so everybody goes into the woods. Still don't see their cavalry, I, I think they might be back there or something. Should be okay. Alright, march into the woods, the Mortar is going to start firing pretty soon. I think. Oh, there it goes. Wait, hold up. Oh no! We're taking a little bit of damage. We should be hidden though, so... Wait, are you telling me Cetra can't hide? Let's go over there, go over there. We're gonna make sure that we can be seen because we'll be taking damage... ...all the damn time. I'm guessing some of these monsters can't really hide very well, so let's just march over there. Let's leave the Sphinx over there. Because it can flank later then. And it, this thing's too big, I guess, to hide. Maybe not, but I think it might be. What is this battle? What am I even doing? Maybe I should just march right on him. Still going for a couple shots here and there. But we haven't actually lost a single unit. So we've just taken a bit of damage and that's it. That's fine, actually. That is fine. Let's get these guys over here as well. We found their hidden cavalry. Oh my god, what a surprise. I totally didn't expect to find those ever. Yeah, just have to shop to eat, just rail on them a little bit. We're gonna have to Necrosphinx push up because they have, I believe, basically no um, armor piercing, so they can't really get through there anyway. See, these flagellants should be taking so much damage. They might go into like a frenzy lighter though. 
But if that's all, then yeah, whatever. There's the grill knights. Okay, let's get you on the grill knights. You just push straight to that thing. And in the meantime, we'll just have the rest of us sort of push up a little bit. Yeah, just go for the mortar. Make sure they're no longer firing. There we go. Oh, that looks bad for them, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Alright, let's get you set up over there. Are we winning? Combat's even. Okay, that's fine. Go for Jared. My hidden units have been revealed. That's fine. Cetra himself will unleash his beautiful magic upon these flagellants. The Mortar crew is basically given up. Look at them run. They're leaving behind their Mortar, so... From this point onward, they can't really do much anyway, so we can just ignore them pretty safely. Go after Jared. Alright, these guys, my archers. Can we fire at those guys? Like, I don't want the, um... The Knights of the Blazing whatever to just be in my way and stuff. That's annoying. Go push up. We need more here. Uh, we have two big units, which can definitely sustain some damage. Um, but they need a little bit of backup for sure. Cetra's just chilling here. It's all good. Let's, uh, let's give this guy a little bit extra damage. The Knights of the Blazing Sun are starting to go, just get very, very low. Let's get you around over there. Oh, look at them fly. Those poor Battle Pilgrims. Yeah, they didn't manage to do a lot of damage to the Sphinx, sadly for them. It says combat is even. I'm not sure I agree with that, though. Like, at all. Yep, you guys go around. You go for the knights there. You guys could shoot them. That'd be pretty cool. The morale's really low, but we need them, like, fully broken to really destroy them. Look at them go. Okay, let's have you go around a little bit. Don't let them knights run away. These guys are giving up. They're going to try to run, but they have to run really, really far, so at least that's something. I guess we really just got to sort of chase them off very, very slow. But oh well, if that's what we got to do, then that's what we got to do. Go for that. Actually, maybe you guys should go for... Uh, eh, that's fine. The Mortar has returned. You're so brave. It looks like our attack through the woods paid off at the end. Uh, because we took very little damage. And we did a lot of damage, so... That's pretty good. We just gotta make sure we actually kill Jared. Don't you run away from me. We gotta get ready for the moment where... The, the other people break. It's like the Flagellants don't really care about losing, I guess. They're just... Their morale doesn't break. They're unbreakable. Because they like the pain or something. It's a little bit weird, but okay. Yep, grab Jarrett. Don't let him get away. Let's get you guys on the, uh, the flagellants as well. They're about to go down. Jared, Duke Jared, is now in the, in the middle of a uh, kind of a mess. Things are not looking good for Jared right now. Just make sure he doesn't like get away. There you go. You got the Cetra. Yeah, push him out of the way. Just push him out of the way. So we could lower his speed. It wouldn't be bad. Make sure he can't get away. Alright, now get him, though. Yeah, look at his speed. He's like... He's so slow. Poor little dude. I don't know why he declared war on me. Honestly, it was a hugely nonsensical decision to make, but sure. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage now. Because he can't run. And he can't regenerate, obviously. So this is him dying. And Duke Jared is no more. He's got one HP. There we go. He's wounded. Yeah, I'll take a wound. That's fine. I think this is it. This is pretty much all we've got left. Is these actually notes? Those guys as well. Okay, go. Just go for them. See if we can maybe finish them. 
I think we might be able to, just in time, with the cavalry charge here. Oh, little dude, no. Oh no, what are you gonna do now? Okay, I guess he died or something, I don't really know. Oh, we killed pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. We took very little damage, we lost 25 units. Mostly from the knights. Alright, so that was a good battle. And it turns out that yes, the Tomb Scorpions and the Necro Sphinxes and um, to an extent even the Ushapti are... are so, so resistant to damage. It's pretty crazy. Sorry, Jared. Jared's Errantry Army. I mean, they're named after him, so if he's down, then they should be... disbanded, right? Having Jared's army led by someone that is not Jared makes no sense. Just tell me that we're done with this, and then I can I can move on with my life. Alright, so some of them are still alive, so maybe if we harvest their organs, they should die? Nope, still running. Still running away. Into the middle of a swamp or something. Okay, we got some gambler's armor. Can we just finish this? Can we- do we have a little bit of move left? Yeah, we do. Please tell me we can just end them. Yeah, I'm not even gonna, like, bother with anything. Let's just finish them. We still lost 112, which is just stupid, but sure. You know what? Let's- let's just take, um, the extra heals. We got the Eyes of the Desert. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got the Achievement Champion, which is for... having a level 20 Lord. That's probably why we got the the thing as well. All right, not too bad at all. So we cleared all this out, which is good, and now we got to push onward. So we got to go either for Zlatlan. If that has no defenders, then yeah, maybe we should just take that because it's quite large. Right, you don't need to heal, but these guys still need healing, so. Let's go into the city and let's let's just heal up slowly. Very, very slowly, but oh well. Uh, Zlatlan has a large enough garrison. We could, alternatively, we could ignore it and try to run past it and just go over there. We could go on a little bit of a scouting run, which is interesting, so let's do that. Let's scout this stuff out. Is this... Amajur Ironbark. Wrath of Nature is back. Wow, how much... So much fun. I love this so much. Okay, we gotta march out of here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be stuck somewhere where we're like taking damage all the time. Um, skill point, probably for Cetra, right? Yep. Honestly, having another huge charge bonus is really not bad. I like that a lot. It's just we're trying to get to Tomb Strike as well. Or even more spells. This is pretty good as well. Enables lightning strike battles when reinforcements are present. That sounds really good. But we need to level up so much more. I think I'm just gonna go for Tomb Strike though, so we'll go for Conqueror here. Alright, so I guess everybody moved? Not everybody. This guy can move. Why well, is healing? This guy. All right, let's go over there. All right, so I'm ready to end the turn. Let's see what's going to happen. War declared. Wait, what? So those guys are at war with each other, and then the the Skaven are now at war with the uh, the High Elves as well. Basically, the High Elves are at war with like everybody. So we met the Skaven. We know where they are now. Transform the Blade. Interesting name. That could be annoying. Let's make sure we don't we don't fight the rats. As much as I like the rats and just seeing them battle, and that would be kind of cool. I just want to like get past this. I want to get this next book, and then I want to just leave. So this might be rat territory. Like maybe everything south of here doesn't even belong to um to the last defenders, which would be good. It looks like it belongs to the rats, so if we just fight our battle and just move on, 
That would be really nice. Okay, we got we gotta march out there though. Help out our allies. Same with these guys, by the way. Let's get you out there. Apparently, you're gonna take a little bit of damage crossing the river. Very annoying. It's such a small amount, yet it's still a loss of life. So the book's right there. Wait, no, is it? No, that's why is it going? Why is the book running away from me? You know what? It might be a good idea to just occupy this settlement, whatever it is. It's just that that would require us to declare war on a whole other faction, which I really don't feel like doing. I think I still want to just chase that book down. Without worrying too much about Lothurn, because they're probably busy with other stuff anyway. Right? You're busy, right, guys? Let me get that let me get that cargo though. I like being able to move more for sure. Line of sight. Well that's still pretty good actually. Not as good, but yeah, quite good. We can almost see the book. I can smell it. Look, I really just want to get to my damn books and just win the game and then move on to other things with my life. Um, Tomb King, right. So we're trying to get to Tomb Strike, so let's do that. All right, so this guy was making his way over to uh, Orion's camp. Just keep going there. This would be pretty good. Some more Shopti Grey Bows. Yes, please. And definitely upgrade that to Necropolis because this is going to be worth it. Let's also get more Catapults. It seems like a pretty good investment of my money. Alright, come on, man. Let me just get to that book. I hope it stops running because this is getting really annoying. So the last defenders are not only fighting me, but they're fighting um, Lothurn as well. Where are you gonna go, buddy? You fat-ass frog. We don't even need to, like, worry about completely destroying them. Just gotta get the book. If we get the books, we're done. Alright, is this guy gonna, like, destroy a last defender settlement? That'd be kinda cool. That'd be very helpful for me, at least. Not fighting the dwarves. I like that very much. As long as they don't... Turn against me, I'm gonna be very happy. The eyes of the jungle. Wait, these, this, they're carrying the book. That's them. Okay, what about up here? Can we still see them? Oh, they moved further away. Stop moving away from me. Go, push, push. We can almost see it. It's so close though. There it is. Whoa. They got some good stuff. Questing Knights, Knights of the Blazing Sun. They got a Luminarch of Hish. It looks like they got some really good stuff in there, so... We definitely want to just destroy them. Let's see, do you want to be friends with me? No, you're pretty unfriendly. Talk at me and your crude luck. I would have liked a little bit of friendship there, but okay. I guess that's just not happening. Uh, El Calabad. I think we just want to build that up to like a bigger city. Plain of Tuskers. Let's see, Bagar, is that... Where even is that? I don't even know. Let's uh, upgrade you. There's nothing really to do here. Alright, so we just want to push for this army. It, it looks really big though. They got some tree men. They got Bastilodon, a couple. Some wild riders. An ancient Stegodon, some chameleons, some way watchers. These are weak though. Uh, some dryads. We've dealt with those before. Like basically all this stuff's like, ah, eh, it's pretty manageable, but this is this is quite strong. So we definitely want to have more armies here. So we know for a fact that we can beat them. So yeah, this is like last defenders. And then it's really only this stuff. So they're they're very, very weak right now. Go, go, make your way over there. You can make it, man. You can make it. 
Uh, Casa Bar definitely needs upgrades, I think. Basically, just want to have big garrisons. I just want to make sure everything's going to be okay. Sure, we'll get more furs. So, we could just move on these guys. We can see their entire army now. I think we can pull it off, but if we we need to get all of our armies to really uh to really do this. So, let's say do that. Let's put him in a, into an ambush stance. All right. So, if any enemy drops by there, we can take them out. These guys are just healing. Just keep doing that as well. Alright. Come on, we're so close to the last two books. Like, we're right next to them. Like, if the stars align right, then we can definitely pull this off in, like, two battles. And we're done. Ambush was foiled. Oh, they saw us. Okay, that's fine. Don't care, don't care. Confederation, okay. I guess we'll bury the Lich Priest. Okay, they're building up more armies. Trades gained, builder. It's good. It's pretty good. Let's get you over there. Let's get you... Like, we just want to give chase, you know? We don't want them getting away. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. Go around the reef. Farsight, for sure. Trunk of map, so we got more... Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't show up there. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. We're, we're catching up, though. We're definitely catching up. Jean Dubin. We'll get him. We'll get him yet. Okay, so... Let's see. If I get you there, if I get you there, and then if I get you... Thing is, we're gonna have to declare war on them, which is gonna be at least somewhat sucky, but, like... What choice do we have? We gotta end this battle, basically. Declare war. Sorry. Gonna have to do it. Three armies, man. Three armies, and this is what we get. This is the balance of power. They must be really strong, then. Specifically, I guess, the, tr the tree monsters. Alright. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be a pretty big battle again. It is for another book, so obviously they wanted to be a real challenge. So I'm actually going to end it here, so the next part is probably going to be mostly battle. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next part, where hopefully we finish the game. Let's see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.